Hey guys, J-Man here for another Spawn review. Today we're doing Batman Spawn. I got a bunch of the covers, so let's take a look here. I don't know what the order is, but there's one. There's two. Three. Four. So I got eight different covers. A through H is what I got. All right, we'll take a look at um, this one here. So basically, I'm gonna review this using my space system. Story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between zero and two. Zero is bad, two is really good. So using this system, I compare comics to themselves and their other peers. So I'm comparing this to other Spawn comics. I'm not comparing Batman Spawn to Watchmen or Giant Size X-Men or something like that. It's just not fair, right? Um, and if I give a high score to this comic, let's say I give the art, let's say I give the artistry a two out of two, a perfect score, two out of two. That's not saying that this is better than Alex Ross or Jack Kirby or something crazy like that. I'm just saying that for the money that you spend to get this book, how good is the art and are you gonna be satisfied? So that's how we score these comics. I've reviewed tons of Spawn comics recently, so make sure you check those out. If you want me to continue doing Spawn, let me know in the comments and let me know your thoughts about this book in the comments as well. All right, let's start with the storyline of this. I'm gonna give the storyline a one and a half. I really liked the story here. Look, it's Batman and Spawn teaming up, right? <coughs> Joker's in it. It's basically the Court of, Owl, Court of Owls with Talon. I don't want to actually spoil this too much, so I'm not gonna dwell on this. This is gonna be a very fast review. Just to get my thoughts out there. The story's pretty good. Um, it mixes a little bit of the Spawn stuff that's going on with the Dead Zones. And of course, it's got some Batman stuff as well with his parents and Joker and that kind of a thing. Um, the way that they've mixed the Court of Owls in, I thought was pretty good. It is always tough to mix this in with Spawn because Batman, you know, is more vigilante. Spawn is like, you know, monster comics, right? But they did a pretty good job of morphing the two together. So I'm going to give it a one and a half out of two for story. It was one would just mean it's average. So if a comic gets five out of 10, if it gets one on every category, then it's a five out of 10. That means OK. But in this case, I think the story gave me what I wanted and a little bit extra. And there's a cool thing at the end, which I won't spoil. So um, I'm going to give it a one point five out of two for story. For pacing, I'm going to give this a two out of two for pacing. I'm going to give it a perfect score for pacing because I read this very quickly, it, it flowed well, um, it jumped right from place to place, it got going right away. Look, there's gonna be, Spawn and Batman are gonna battle a bit, right? And then they're gonna team up. So that's going back to the story a little bit, that's what you would expect, but you do get a little bit more, which is why I gave it the 1.5. For pacing, they put that story together in a good book. It's very quick, it's not like super thick, a lot happens. To give you a comparison, I read Iron Man or Invincible Iron Man number one. They've rebooted Iron Man for the 400th time. So I grabbed that one and read it. And it's almost around the same page count. And that one felt like nothing happened. And this one felt like a lot happened. So the pacing on this was perfect score. Two out of two. I'm going to give the art a 1.5 out of two. The art in this really suited this book very well. Um, they did use this Joker which um, I don't think that's the current Joker, though I am about seven or eight issues behind on Batman, but I'm pretty sure that, that he's not this Joker anymore. So I'm not sure what was going on there, or if that was a different uh, universe, but like it is it is kind of Batman spawn, it's dark, right? Um, but I do like, there are some good pages in here. I don't want to show you every page. Like you've got, you got one of these cool pages where you have them together, right? So it's one and a half out of two. Um, it's not perfect. It's not, per but it's really good. It's definitely above average. I don't want to show you that page. That's an awesome page. Sorry. I almost showed you that page. Talon looks really cool to me in this comic. Um, yeah, he looks pretty badass. Okay. It's a bit panel-y, but not, but there are some good pages. So yeah, one and a half. I'm giving it above average on the, on the art. I thought it was done very well. So I'm very happy with, with that. For the characters, um, I'm going to give the characters a one, a one out of two. To me, Batman and Spawn were really good in this book. I like to interplay between those two characters. I felt that the Court of Owls was pretty good, but it, 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 the villain wasn't that awesome. Like Talon is cool, but I don't know. I, 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 I'm not sure if I, what I wanted exactly it might be unfair since I, I'm not really, you know, saying what I would have wanted, but I would have maybe expected a little bit 
more out of what was going on. There's something cool at the end with Arkham. I wasn't sure if there would be something else there. Batman is awesome. Spawn is awesome, of course. Two of my favorite characters of all time. Um, and that's why I'm giving it a one. It's good. The villains weren't portrayed as good, but you know, you're buying this for Batman and Spawn. All right, so we're at a one and a half, one and a half, that's three, four, five, six. We're at a six. I'm gonna give this, um, I'm gonna give it a two for enjoyment. I really enjoyed this a lot. I'm giving it a perfect score. I really enjoyed this. I think it was a lot of fun. Uh, was it worth the wait? Sure. I mean, it's hard to say. Like, it's not like you were waiting your whole life to see this. You've seen them team up in the past before, right? So I definitely have a first team up. I don't know how many times they've teamed up in the past now. This is maybe the third. It's for sure at least the second because I have one. I, I think they've teamed up before as well. I'm not 100% sure. This is either the second or maybe third or fourth. Please let me know in the comments if, if I've missed one. I, I have the first ever team up and I've got this one. So I'm a bit behind on, on Spawn um, in, in that sense. I'd stop reading after about maybe issue 50 or, 50 or so. And then now I've recently got back into it starting in the 300s is when, oh, three, actually 300 and on. I've read everything. So, uh, yeah, I really like this a lot. So that's a, so I gave it a three, then a two, and another three. So three, four, five, six, so eight out of 10. I'm giving this an eight out of 10. That's very high. Eight out of 10 means that you should buy this if you're a Batman fan or, or if you're a Spawn fan, you should get this. I'm a fan of both characters. So it's a little bit more special for me because it is both characters. If you only like Batman, you don't care about Spawn, get it anyway. The Batman stuff's pretty good. Look, if you're a Spawn guy, you're getting it anyways because it is a Spawn thing, right? Tom McFarlane. Did Tom McFarlane write this? Tom McFarlane wrote this. There you go. Oh, Greg, Ca Greg Capullo. There you go, man. This is like pretty much a must-have, I mean, if you're a collector. Um, so yeah, definitely awesome. Worth getting for sure. I really liked it a lot. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. And that is it, guys. Until next time.